Hola amigos, Jim and Mai here from Spanish and Go, and some of our most popular videos have to do with the cost of living in Mexico and in Puerto Rico. So today we decided to show you around to a few different properties here in Mai's home state of Colima to give you an idea of what the market's like. Yes, we have a friend that is in real estate and she's going to show us around. She's going to take us to three properties here in the state of Colima. Most of these conversations are going to be in Spanish. We're going to be trying to explain some more things in English to you just so you are ready. <laughs> Aquí vamos. All right, so we are here in Colima with Stephanie from Feite Inmobiliaria. She's going to show us the first house. ¿Qué nos puedes decir, Stephanie, sobre esta zona en la que estamos? Bueno, esta es una zona residencial. Es muy tranquila, este, bastante segura. Lo agradable también de esta zona es que podemos encontrar muchos restaurantes, plazas, todo muy bien ubicado, llegas muy rápido a todos lados. Y pues este es un coto pequeño, es una privada con pocas casas, lo que hace que sea más segura y pacífica, sí, podría sí. decirse, sí. Cuéntanos sobre la casa, cuántos uh -huh. cuartos tiene, qué, qué hay ahí adentro. Mira, la casa cuenta pues cochera para dos vehículos, este sala, comedor, eh, cocina, la casa tiene mucha iluminación, es una casa muy fresca con mucha ventilación, tiene una recámara en planta baja con su baño y vestidor y dos recámaras en planta alta, igual cada una con su baño y vestidor. Uh -huh. Tiene una alberca pequeña, pero que pues, refresca al final del día, este, y pues si gustas pasamos a conocerla. Sí, vamos, vamos a verla. So this house looks awesome. It's quite a bit bigger than some other houses you might find in Colima. Pero ¿qué tan nueva es la casa? ¿Es usada o es una nueva construcción? La casa ya es usada, ya tuvo un uso, pero se mantiene en muy buenas condiciones. Eso sí. es muy importante. Si les han dado un excelente mantenimiento, parecen nuevas. Sí, parece muy nueva para mí. <ríe> ¿Y cuánto vale la casa? La casa está en 3 millones 300. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Pesos. 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 <laughs> sí, pesos. So, what did you think of that last place, Mai? I really liked it. I love that it's very um, well lit. The air flows throughout the house. I really like the small swimming pool. I think that's a, a really good thing to have here in Colima for the summer months. Absolutely, it gets really hot here. I loved how spacious the place was, but right now we're gonna check out another place that is a little cheaper. Let's go check it out. So before we show you this next place, I just wanted to take a moment to discuss the elephant in the room. A lot of people, when looking at buying real estate in Mexico, are worried about getting a gringo tax added on top of whatever the purchase price may be. And in fact, if you look for houses online in Mexico, you may see much higher prices than the ones we we're talking about in this video. That could be for a number of reasons. One, you may be searching in English. That is more than likely going to bring the prices way up, especially when you're searching in areas that see a lot of tourism, like the Mexican Maya Riviera. Now, I would like to reframe this. I think it's more of a foreigner monolingual tax. If you cannot communicate in Spanish, it's more likely that you're going to end up paying more than you need to. That's why we always encourage everyone to learn Spanish and then go to Spanish-speaking countries. And that's why I wanted to talk about our sponsor today, Lingoda. Lingoda is a language company that offers this incredible promotion that I have taken part of in the past. You can actually check out my review of this crazy promotion where you can take 90 one hour classes with Lingoda and get a 100% refund. If it sounds too good to be true, it's not. You put in the time, 
with Lingoda to learn Spanish for one hour every single day, 30 days each month for 90 days, and you can get a 100% refund on your money. We've been promoting Lingoda for years now, and that's because we truly believe in their service. Having completed the Lingoda Sprint myself, I can vouch for their high quality service and their high quality classes. I was definitely able to improve my Spanish fluency with them in just 90 days, and I know you can as well. So if you're interested and getting a 100% refund on 90 classes of Spanish, or you can do the half sprint uh, with 45 classes and get up to a 50% refund on your money, then go to the link in the description of this video and enter code CHANGE110 to get $12 off of your deposit. Now, if you successfully complete the sprint, you will get all of your money back and the deposit, so there's really nothing to lose as long as you can commit to those 90 days. Be sure to read the terms and conditions. There's really nothing funky going on in there. There's no real catch. The most important thing you need to know is that you do need to attend a class every single day for the amount of time that you agree on, whether that be with the full sprint, with the 90 days, or the half sprint for half of that time. So let's go ahead and check out the next house. So we're at another house here. Stephanie is going to tell us a little bit more about it. ¿Puedes decirnos un poco sobre esta casa? Sí, claro. Mira, esta casa es, está ubicada en una zona más popular. Hay casas pues, de, menor, de menor precio, pero aún así es una zona tranquila, es una buena zona. Tiene muy buenas vías de, de acceso y tiene mucho comercio también. Entonces es una, una buena zona uh -huh. para vivir. Muy bien. ¿Y cuánto vale esta casa? Esta casa se ubica en esquina. Las casas en la esquina tiene mayor plusvalía y está en un millón doscientos cincuenta. Ok, un millón doscientos cincuenta. ¿Y cuántos cuartos tiene? Esta casa es más pequeña, es una sola planta, tiene dos recámaras, este, sala y comedor están en altura y media, que eso es muy bueno porque aquí es caliente y el hecho de que sea más alta pues hace que sea la casa mucho más fresca. Y tiene la recámara principal, baño y vestidor. Okay. Son pequeños, pero tiene baño y vestidor. Muy bien. So, two bedroom, one bath. Vamos a entrar. Uh -huh. So what do you think, Ma? I like it. It's small. I think this would be perfect for a couple or someone who has just maybe a small kid. It's a fairly quiet neighborhood. Most of the houses around here are new. They're selling them, so there aren't that many neighbors yet. <laughs> but I like it. What do you think? Yeah, it's nice. It is considerably smaller. Yes. but. It's also cheaper. Mm -hmm. I was going to mention quick, I said earlier that it's one bathroom, but it's actually two bathrooms. So two bedroom, two bath. But one bathroom is much bigger. Yes. <laughs> so right now we're going to go to another house that is in the municipality of Cuauhtémoc. It's, I would say, like 15 minutes from Colima. 15 minutes away from Colima. This house is for rent. It, this is not a house to buy, but it's a, an antique house. This is a house that's built in the traditional style of houses in Colima. You're going to see it. It's, it's a really different style. So we just arrived here in Cuauhtémoc and it is noticeably cooler. We must be at a higher elevation, a little bit closer to the volcano. And we're going to check out this place that is available for rent right now.
Ahora, ¿por qué no nos cuentas de qué es una casa estilo Colima? ¿Qué es el estilo Colima? Okay. El estilo Colima son casas muy abiertas. Co normalmente cuentan con una fuente en el centro, este, las recámaras alrededor, un corredor, la cocina súper grande. Eso sí, el, los baños están afuera, no están dentro de las recámaras. Eso, eso podría ser una desventaja. Este, porque el baño nunca está dentro de la de las recámaras uh -huh. y tienen un patio grandísimo. Sí, platícanos un poquito más sobre esta casa en particular. En particular, esta casa tiene este tres recámaras, un baño completo y uno en la parte de atrás, como cuando hace reuniones. Tiene jacuzzi, eh, el área de cocina es muy, muy amplia, es muy iluminada, las recámaras son más bien obscuritas y pues es una casa muy fresca, son techos muy altos. Sí, sí, esta casa se renta, no se vende. Se renta, incluso pues pudieran hacer alguna propuesta en venta, pero realmente se renta así tal cual como está, con todos los muebles. Uh -huh. Y las plantas y todo. Plantas y todo. <risa> Muy bien. This place is really cool. It's huge and you wouldn't think it would be just by looking at the front because it's pretty unassuming when you walk through the door. But as you go through the property towards the back, you notice that it goes actually really deep. There's plenty of space to enjoy the garden here. It's crazy the variety of cactus and different plants that uh, they have here on the property. And I think it's really cool. I really like all of like the little details they have here in this house, all like the decoration outside here in the garden. The furniture looks very antique, but very well taken care of. So I really think that this house could be enjoyed by someone who likes the, the Mexican and Colima style of furniture and things around the house. So there you have it. Those were three different properties a little bit inland in Colima, but still most of these places are about 45 minutes from the coast. Yes, let us know which one you like the most. Would you ever consider living in any of those or here in the state of Colima? Let us know in the comments. We're gonna leave a link in the description of this video where you can check out some other properties in this area of Colima. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, El camino es el destino. The journey is the destination. Nos vemos pronto. Adios.